All right, we're going to continue with our introduction to telling time, okay? So we're going to go to page five. So everybody go to page five, please. Okay, the way this works is that you find the time that's on your clock and then find the digital version of it and the letter goes right here, okay? So let's do a couple. Now, there's only four numbers on the clock, right? Yes? Yes? Then what I would do is I would go ahead and label the rest of them. So if this is 12, what's the first one? One. Then two, right? Three, four. This is five right here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, right? Yes? But also, if it's between 12 and 1, the hour is still going to be 12. So I would do that with a different color pencil. Okay? That's still 1. That's still 2. That's still 3. 4. That's a 5. 6. 7. 8. 9. And 10. And that one's still 11. Okay? So the hour hand is pointing to what? It's between the 6 and the 5. If it's between the 6 and the 5, What's the, what's still the hour? Five. Five. And then I put my colon. Okay. And then my my um, my minute hand is pointing to the five exactly, right? Okay. Count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So what time is it on this chart? Five twenty-five. Five twenty-five. Okay. So five twenty-five, correct? Don't have a cow. So then I could use the digital clock, guys, on our Google Classroom right here. So we said it was 525, correct? So it was like this. Like that. 525. Okay. So I can use this to figure this out. So if I go back, let's do another one. And let's see. Was I right? Yes, I was correct. Let's do another one. So 525. Five twenty five. Which one's five twenty five? B. So I'm gonna take my answer. B. And it goes right there. Okay? All right. And then the next page. Yeah, guess what? They have a completed number already, huh? And I think you just write it, write the answers out. You just write the answers on the line. Right? Okay, so the hour, look. The hour hand, the minute, yeah, the hour hand is pointing straight, straight like this. Okay. Is it past the two? No. So what's the hour? What's the hour, though? One. one. Okay. One. And then the minute hand is pointing to what? Nine. nine. Oh, if I'm counting by five, what's nine times five? Forty-five. Forty-five. So it's one. Forty-five for that one. Okay. That's what you do on that page. All right, go to your uh, this one right here, and then I'll give you time to to do um, all all, pay, all all four all uh, all four pages from the um, um, from the two packets, and you have to work with the partner. Okay. All right. So go to page. This is one, two, three. Oh, did we do page three already? Okay, go to page three. It should be this one right here. So I'm going to do two two examples for you, okay? And then you'll do page three and four. Okay. Um, it says uh, Nia covers a rectangular tray 
with one inch square tiles. So here's her tray. Okay. She puts 42 tiles on there. Okay. If she arranges, if and she uses 42 tiles, arranged in seven rows. Okay. Seven rows, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, roughly seven rows, right? Okay. Okay. How many tiles are in each row? What operation am I, am I going to do? Division, because I know the total already, right? So 42 divided by 7 is 6. six. So she uses 6 tiles in each row. Okay. Number 2 says Jacob uses tiles to cover a rectangular uh, hallway. Okay. Each tile has has an area of one square uh, foot, okay? He uses three rows of tiles with eight tiles in each row. What is the area of the tile? Oh, wait a minute. Area, how do you find area? Length, length times area. width. Length times width. So here's my rows, and here's my, uh, and how many in each row? If area equals length times width, what's three times eight? 24. Okay. 